in Singapore and I feel very happy because I, I am with two wonderful artists and teachers in Singapore of Kisomba. She is Alice Lee and he is Massimo Spina from Italy and from Singapore. And I want to ask them uh, if, they, if they want to explain to all uh, Kisomba fans what is, uh, what are, what is your project and what happened in Singapore about the Kisomba. Hello Alice. Hello, we are both instructors from KISAP SG, Kizomba Singapore. It is a group of uh, people who love Kizomba and the idea is to promote Kizomba in Singapore and also in the Southeast Asia. So we started one year ago, we started to give open classes in different places, so in um, bars like Latin bars like Senor Taco or in another private studios and we organize parties and socials. We are a group of people, so it's not only the two of us, but we are around eight people. So we are uh, DJs, instructors, dancers, da taxi dancers sometimes, if there are not enough uh, guys. And the idea is to organize events like the flash mob we did uh, this year in March to show what is Kizomba and try to develop this kind of dance, especially in Asia that is still uh, new. quite new. So that's the idea to uh, help grow this beautiful dance and bring some of what we learn in uh, Europe here. So we are thankful also for uh, Beatrice to be here and to give us Thank this opportunity. You. So uh, it's really nice to meet her here. I met her in Switzerland two years ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and you're yeah. connected again yes. in another part of the world. <laughs> well, I want to ask you, uh, what do you think about the secret of Kisomba in Asia? Because in Europe it's more easy than Asia. I know and I show, I show uh, wonderful uh, people dancing salsa and bachata and soup. But Kisomba is not very easy because it's from Angola, from Africa and Cabo Verde. And what do you think is the secret of what uh, people in Singapore now, uh, is, uh, they feel attraction for the Kisomba, for the women and for the men? I think for the women, for me, I like the music so much. It's slow, it's much more sensual and it's not like salsa and bachata, which is more faster pace. And I like the connection. I think some people prefer to dance kizomba because they like the connection. They like the musicality that the guy can lead the lady to do it. Uh, maybe from a man's point of view? Uh, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically the same, yeah. The music, the connection with the partner. Yeah, that's about it. So, and it's easy, it's picking up quite fast. And, so, yeah. And we have a very nice group here in Singapore who are very friendly. Uh, we, in, in Thursday, where you were yes, last week, yes, yes. so everyone is uh, dancing with everyone. There's no difference between you are new or you are old so we it's easy for us to build the group like this when everyone is supporting the dance but um, I, I see and you know especially because you are from here uh, ASEAN women are very shy and uh, it's possible sometimes uh, they think is very sexual the dance and it's very shy and uh, what what are you doing for to to invite and to to let this uh, this panic for to dance? Uh, yes, we have we do have girls that come for the class, try it out, and they didn't like it. They prefer to do more salsa and uh, open frame, no connection. But we try to show them how to connect without doing it sexually, but sensually not the same yes it's not the same <laughs> and you uh, what yes. do you say but yeah I agree that sometimes, sometimes men ask you something about that uh, sometimes men are also shy so they are uh, like too polite so they touch the girl but they almost never <laughs> feel it okay so it's like this or it's more like <laughs> you can totally see the face of the girl like what's going on right but yeah then when you explain and then everything becomes easy. Also because, as she said, they're nice vibes. So it's like a big family. So in my case, like arriving in Singapore, the first night I went to a social, I met her, and then after you just enter in a 
small community like you feel like in a family here so it's really helpful so all the people coming passing by or the start they love this kind of dance so it's really nice well uh, i think uh, with the, this help uh, i hope uh, very soon uh, kisomba grow up every day uh, here it's not easy but uh, i saw you have a uh, wonderful djs a uh, wonderful music i'm very very impacted because uh, I live in Europe and it's very normal to, to listen uh, nice music. But in your case, I shock it. And I, yeah, I, I want to say congratulations. And uh, if you want to come to, to spend holidays in Singapore, it's a wonderful uh, country. And uh, if you want to share some Kisomba, please contact with them, with Alice, with uh, Massimo. And I'm sure you'll uh, enjoy a lot and perhaps you can uh, learn a little bit more. Well, uh, what do you want to say for to goodbye and I thank you very much for your invitation and what do you say for the last uh, words? Oh, well, if you are coming to Singapore, go to Facebook and look for Kisap SG. Then you will get connected to the community in Singapore. Even if you don't go to Singapore, go to the Facebook page so you can have an idea of what's going on in Singapore. Thank you very much and uh, we will continue working on that. Kisses! Thank you! Bye! Bye, -bye. Thank you!